Hi all. Recently DJI has opened up, so all with iOS systems can use the Liachi app, to fly our DJI Mini 2. I am going to show you how to make a waypoint route and show you a cool feature at the end of this video. I have opened the Liachi page on my computer and logged into my account. In the search field I have chosen a city called Aarhus. Let's make some waypoints. I zoom into the harbor area, since this is where I want to fly with my drone. I highly recommend you to check for high buildings, power cables etc before you make the route. Otherwise you could crash your drone. I make my first waypoint by clicking at the map. I adjust the speed of the drone with the speed slider and the way I want the drone to face with the direction slider. Most importantly, I also adjust at what height I want my drone to fly from this waypoint to the next. I click on the map where I want my second waypoint and adjust the sliders, just as I did at the first waypoint. I will speed up for the next waypoints, since I'm doing the same as the first two. At waypoint 6 I will raise my altitude to 82 meters, that's because, here I will be crossing some land and don't want to fly into anything. At waypoint 7, I will click at the plus sign at the bottom left and choose to make the drone take a photo. I can now land my drone. In settings you can set the drone to return to home after the last waypoint. Click on the mission tab. And choose save. I will call this mission or whose harbor. Here comes the fun part. But for this to work, you will need two things. 1. You need to use Google Chrome to open the Liachi page, log into your account and make your waypoints. 2. Download, Chrome Liachi Virtual Mission. I will leave the links in the description below. Now click on the Mission tab again and choose Export to VLM. Make sure Google Earth is open before you click. This will download a file. Click on it and you will be directed into Google Earth. The pink lines will show you your route and altitude from waypoint 1 to 7. Notice how the altitude is much higher from point 6 to 7. That's because we raised it to 82 meters at waypoint 6, to avoid to fly into any obstacles. In Google Earth, you must wing off 3D buildings and terrain in the sidebar, to make it to work properly. In the left sidebar in Google Earth, click on the little arrow that has your file name. Now click on, Virtual Mission. If you've done it right, you will now see a video, as if you were flying with your drone. What looks like a pink filter in the video, is the altitude measure we saw earlier in the video. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments, and I will try to answer you. If you learned anything or liked this video, please subscribe to my channel.